Star Trek is expanding its universe with a spin-off called Deep Space Nine. The series will trek to a remote space station to follow the adventures of a new cast and crew. Get ready to beam up to the world of Deep Space Nine. The new series centers on a group of Starfleet officers who take over a hostile alien space station. At the helm is Commander Benjamin Sisko, played by Avery Brooks, making his maiden voyage into the world of science fiction. There are all kinds of new terms and new ideas, yeah. I just... But again, I'm a rookie. I'm learning. This is my first time here, yeah. Mr. O'Brien, can you establish a high-energy Thoron field before they get into sensor range? Serving under Brooks is an intergalactic squadron of officers, including Chief Operations Man Colum Meany, transported over from the Next Generation series, and Alien First Officer Nana Visitor. Red alert. Shields up. What shields? The thing that is the most exciting is the script and the fact that the women in the show are very strong very powerful and that uh it's it it's a lot to do with what's going on in the world right now but one of deep space nine's biggest stars literally is the show's massive array of futuristic sets production designer herman zimmerman and his crew spent over two million dollars bringing the 24th century to life we have three of the largest sound stages on the Paramount lot, and we are filling each of those three stages with uh, very bizarre scenery. Providing the show's comic relief is veteran actor René Aubergenois as Obo, a shape-shifting alien in charge of the station's security. The role requires hours of daily makeup for René, but he says there's only one drawback to his altered state. It's not hot, it's not itchy, it's not... Uh, I mean, I, I only eat frozen yogurt while I'm in it, but... Uh, other than that, it's not very uncomfortable. A special two-hour debut episode of Deep Space Nine will be launched during the first week of January.